Christmas! Christmas. Woo Woo Happy Christmas to one and all. Hope you are sitting comfortably in your living rooms. We are so excited to be with you on Christmas Day to celebrate this amazing day. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, we are here to celebrate the arrival, the, the first arrival of our Saviour and our King in the form of a helpless baby boy when Jesus came to earth for the first time. And we are going to celebrate today, aren't we? Whoop whoop! Yes, we are. Yes, we are. But first, we should um, light the, the final Advent candle. Will you run and do that, Ailey? Yes. Good job. Thanks. Good Thanks job. Thanks very much. Let's read the amazing words of Isaiah chapter 9 that are recorded as a, a prophecy about the arrival of Jesus. Um, this is from the Message Translation, and it says, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For those who lived in the land of deep shadows, light, sunbursts of light. You repopulated the nation, you expanded its joy. Oh, they're so glad in your presence, festive joy the joy of great celebration, sharing gifts and warm greetings. For a child has been born for us, the gift of a son for us. He'll take over the running of the world. His names will be Amazing Counselor, Strong God, Eternal Father, Prince of Wholeness. His ruling authority will grow and there will be no limits to the wholeness he brings. Amazing, amazing. Why don't we pray before we start our celebration this morning? Let's pray. Loving Father, we are so grateful um, for the amazing gift that you've given us uh, this Christmas and all those years ago on the first Christmas. Um, we love you, Father, and we want to celebrate um, that newborn baby, the newborn king born in Bethlehem, um, on this day and we pray that this um, little gathering of celebration would just be a, a service of worship to you Lord and um, that we would remember the amazing sacrifice that that little baby went on um, to make for us um, so that we could be forgiven and um, so let this be a service of celebration but also of honour and worship to you Lord um, in your son's name we pray Amen. 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 Well this morning our theme of our short Christmas service is joy to the world and we're exploring the words the amazing words of the carol joy to the world and we're not doing the talking ourselves we're no, no, allowing no. four amazing young people to take part and they're each going to be looking at a different verse of the carol and so without any more from us no bored of us now let's hear from a couple of the young people let's hear from andrew and then abigail we'll hand over to them thank you guys Good morning. I hope they've had an amazing start to Christmas Day. And I now want to share something about a popular Christmas hymn that many people will know. You may even recognise it from the first few important words. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. So this is from Psalm 98, 96, 11 to 19, which just highlights the importance of rejoicing. And Genesis 3, 17 to 18, which in contrast talks about Adam and Eve and their sins. So it wasn't intended to be a Christmas hymn, and it was actually um, originally intended for Jesus' important second coming, which would bring happiness to many people. So I think that it just symbolises happiness and joy at Christmas time, and it's relevant to just now when many people don't have hope, when we as people within the church have hope and we know that there's always light at Christmas time. Let every heart prepare him room. Basically this means that this year we should find time to let Jesus into our hearts at this very special Christmas. So I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>
So the second verse of Joy to the World says, Joy to the world, the Saviour reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. So in the first little bit where it says, Joy to the world, the Saviour reigns. This kind of means like, for me to be happy at Christmas time and be joyful at Christmas time because Jesus was born and this is like such an amazing thing and then like the next bit where it goes on and says let men their songs employ that just means like let them sing let them let them be happy like let them if that's how they want to praise God then let them do it um and then the next bit where it says, well, fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. For me, that bit's like my favourite part of the song because it's like the whole of God's creation is rejoicing at this little baby being born, which for me is like such an amazing thing. Um, and then the last wee bit where it says, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. That bit's just kind of like be joyful and join in like join in with everyone else tell others about it like if you had some really really exciting news you'd want to go and tell someone else about it or tell others about it so there's not much difference between that and telling somebody about god and jesus and stuff um so what this means for me is like being happy at christmas time and being thankful for everything that you have and just to share the good news Thank you so much to Andrew and Abigail there for bringing us um, some wise words for that carol joy to the world. And we're now going to go on and worship together um, on this special day. Um, this is just a, a carol that we prepared earlier um, that was recorded earlier in the month. Um, but we hope we can gather together and worship just now. So wherever you are, do sing along, do stand if you wish, um, and let's sing together. Glory to the newborn king. Amazing. Thank you, band and Ailey. Um, we are now going to hear from our third young person, Kirsty, who's going to, who's going to share on the third verse of Joy to the World. Over to you, Kirsty. The third verse reads, 
No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. This verse reminds us at Christmas time that Jesus didn't come into the world for his own good. He came into the world so that he could save us, that he could save us from our sins. And Christ's victory over sin isn't conditional. It says in the verse that he comes to make his blessings flow far as the curse is found. And the curse is found all over the world. None of us are exempt from sin or sorrow. But Jesus came that we might have eternal hope. Hope that we might not die, but that we might have eternal life with God. And the hope at Christmas isn't over. It didn't stop when Jesus was born. We have the hope that Jesus will come again. And on that day, we will meet face to face with God. And there will be no more sins and no more sorrow. And we will live forever with God. Thank you so much to Kirsty there for those words as well. We're so grateful for bringing us um, some wisdom there. Um, but just before we move on, Mark, I've got a little present for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice today and just, yeah, get you a wee gift. Do you know, it's remarkable that you decided that as well, because I've decided to get your gift as well. <sighs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> wow. Let's do it. Now, I've got, we've got COVID friendly um, passing here. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. That's also remarkable because I seem to have one beside me too. Wow, so uh, this is amazing. I'm just going to hand works together. you this little gift bag. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. There we yeah. are. How exciting. Oh, this is interesting. Everyone at home is on tenterhook. Oh. In fact, I'll leave you nice. to sort that out first. What is it? This looks very interesting, Ely. Thank you. Everyone. So this is tense. This is tense. I thought oh. you could, could put it on for the new year. New oh, season and everything. my very own dreadlocks. Thank <laughs> you so much. I, I'll, uh, do yep. you mind if I try it on Yeah, now? go for it now. Um, and everyone can send in their rating out of 10. Okay. <laughs> this is... What, this brings me back to my 20s. This is very realistic, actually. It's quite creepy. This could be my new look for 2021. <laughs> what do you think? I should, um, uh, I've just seen that Mark has got me polar mints and deodorant. Yeah, I thought that, um, I mean, don't take it personally, but I thought um, <laughs> the polar mints and deodorants would just be something that will help in the new year. You, uh, you're particularly so if we might have to stop wearing masks, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why, thank you. Yeah. I'll cherish them. The masks have been a uh, relief in the, in the youth office um, for a period. So, well, but we know that they won't last forever. There we are, everyone. Uh, I've actually got you a, a subscription for Polo Mints. I've got you a subscription to Dreadlock Wigs, so <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh dear, we should keep moving. We should keep moving. Um, I think mine was a kinder gift, to be honest, but anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Let's move on, not salty or anything. Let's move on. What have we got next? What do we have next? <laughs> we have. Joel is going to be bringing us the next verse of our Christmas carol, so take it away, Joel. Thanks, Joel. Hi guys, I'm Joel. Um, I'm going to talk about the fourth verse of Joy to the World, which I'm not going to sing, but it goes, He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love. Uh, so interestingly, Joy to the World was originally just a hymn. Uh, it wasn't intended to be a Christmas song. Uh, it's mainly based on Psalm 98, which is one of the royal psalms that talks about God's grace and all creation praising him. So the fourth verse of Joy to the World mainly comes from verses 3 and 9 from Psalm 98. From God's Word version, verse 3 says, He has not forgotten to be merciful and faithful to Israel's descendants. All the ends of the earth will have seen how our God saves them. And then verse 9 says, The Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and its people with fairness. Um, so it's almost a sort of paradox between these two verses, since they say that God judges the world with absolute truth and fairness. Um, However, it also says that he's gracious and merciful towards us. And God does that through Jesus, who paid a penalty for sin and took on a punishment when he died on the cross. Um, that in itself is pretty good news. But what makes it even better is that Jesus died for everyone, not just to save the Jews, but for Gentiles as well. Um, and that's reflected in Joy to the World, since it says, He rules the world with truth and grace. 
He doesn't say he rules the Israelites to the grace. Um, of course, the reason God does this is because of his deep and immense love for us as his children, which is kind of hard to wrap your head around how this all-powerful God who created everything would be interested in and seek a relationship with us as imperfect humans. Um, but this verse also acknowledges that as it talks about the wonders of his love. So I think this him sort of points towards the fact that God's grace and mercy and love is the only thing that brings true joy to the world. Thank you for listening. God oh, bless. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Joel, for those words. We are now going to go into another time of worship. Um, and why don't we sing the carol that we've been looking at in depth. And let's sing joy to the world together and worship God. Joy to the world, indeed. What a day to rejoice and to remember what we have to give thanks for, our Saviour arriving in the world as a light dawning in the darkness. Yeah. Why don't we pray together just as we finish our Christmas service? Yeah. Father, we, we thank you. We come before you this morning just to spend time with you, to be still, and know that you are our God, our Saviour. And we thank you for your salvation plan that unfolded all these years ago in Bethlehem, when your good news arrived in the form of your Son, Jesus. And we want to worship you. We want to praise you, that you didn't leave us alone in our brokenness but you stepped into history and you came and walked among us and you died for us so that we might be forgiven, so that the brokenness might be made whole, so that you might redeem us and save us from our sin and that you might offer us life in all its fullness for now and for eternity. You have transformed us through the work of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we want to praise you. We want to thank you. We want to lift up your name high. And we want to celebrate in the good news that Jesus came to earth for us. And as we celebrate, we also want to remember those at this time of year that can find, that can be struggling, that, that they find this time of year difficult. 
for a whole different range of reasons. We know that some people are struggling right now and we want to lift up our friends, our fam family members, those in our fellowship, those in our community who are struggling right now. And we thank you that Jesus came to bring peace, that Jesus is peace. And we pray for your peace and for your comfort on those who are aching just now. Lord, may your presence be close to these people in particular, and may they find hope in your name. And help us, Lord, stir us up as a family to care for each other and to shine out the hope of Jesus and the joy of Jesus to each other. For your name and for your glory, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, it's been great to be able to share together on Christmas morning. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been brilliant to remember the good news and what Christmas is all about, about the, the gift of Jesus arriving on earth. To, and we celebrate God's goodness to us. Absolutely. And we've got a couple of notices. Um, one of them is that we're going to be having a looking back and looking forward service on the 27th of December, and that's this Sunday coming. Um, so do get involved in that. It's always a great one um, to be part of. Um, so that will be streamed on YouTube this Sunday coming, the 27th of December. Yeah, so join in there if you're able to. And we hope you have a very Merry Christmas. We hope more than that, that you are aware of the presence of Jesus Christ and his peace at this Christmas time. So may God bless you and may you have a, a, have a rest this Christmas time and know his presence. Amen. 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 Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Happy Christmas. Season.